is going on guys wiser here coming to you with the recap of one of the last wars for 2.0 uh first i just want to address something hello everybody uh for those of you who've been following my channel for a while i uh, might have known me at once upon a time to have been using a webcam i kind of had some technical difficulties and it just my computer has been a pain in the ass overall um so i stopped actually because uh the main problem was I could, the audio was not matching up with the video so it just looked really bad and and whatever so i as you know as you guys know i, I always kind of have some audio issues my my computer my setup is definitely not top notch by any means um anyhow uh i mentioned in a previous video that uh patino actually came to me and has an idea he wants to sort of get a podcast going uh where me him uh maybe dr d and uh, i know i've got some other volunteers like jp from uh, 2.0 that have volunteered to try and we'll try and get together at least on a weekly basis maybe talk about the weekly cwl matchups um the sort of the ongoing things whatever is happening in the class world uh we got a lot of different ideas for this thing but with that being said, uh, I really did want to get my system running again. So this is my first attempt. I think it's going. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've addressed the audio issues here. I hope uh, we're good to go. And let's see how let's see how this pans out. We had a random matchup uh, as soon as our CWL match was over against WHF2. 86-83 to 83 was a victory for 2.0. Um, we're going to just check out some details re real quickly on our side. Uh, they, they struggled a lot on our nines. That ended up being their demise because overall up top, they did pretty well. You know, they cleaned up most of the tens, had to leave a couple on the board, mainly because just of the lack of the town hall 10 attacks that they had. Um, you know, they, uh, they did a little better on the four elevens. Uh, I think they only used five hits to maybe six hits to get, uh, those two stars there. Had some bully attempts at, a, at I think, uh, a couple 10 versus 10. Triples, at least one there, and no. Hmm. Anyhow, they uh, overall had had some struggles, but um, put together a respectable score. Uh, you know, uh, we, we definitely know Blonde over there, very very active member of the Clash Clans community. So shout out goes over uh, goes out to her. She uh, also runs Clash Babes. Uh, so you know, they uh, they actually ended up scraping together a pretty respectable score by the end. Um, 2.0 just did really well. We, uh, struggled a little bit on these 11, some good base building there for sure. Uh, I think we used like seven hits to get those four, uh, two stars, uh, had quite a few successful bullies and four 10 v 10 trips. I got to show you guys, uh, cleared up the nines and I did, I didn't think we needed bullies, but as I was going through here, I did see somewhere in here, Dan, there it is. Uh, so there is one bully there. I don't know if we... Just blocked off the base because it had a few defenses. Check this out actually real fast. Do, 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 do 25 was it? Yeah, six attacks. So because uh, we had to bully that, definitely giving that guy the, the respect. Not going to show you his base, unfortunately, because that's a good one. Uh, usually nines don't give us that much uh, trouble, especially with uh, post post update now uh anyhow uh overall though really good war for 2.0 i got a lot of attacks let's just start right at the bottom here uh da -da -da -da. clutchy boy quite a few six packs this war i had a horrible war actually this is my worst war in quite some time and i didn't get a three star but it's gonna happen from time to time uh clutchy boy here is bringing a stoned um stone hobo few wizards down lots of wizards right just really wants to clear the entire 12 to 9 section and in fact he even doesn't quite i think get one of these two buildings at nine o'clock which yanks a few bowlers but you're gonna find see the way the attack works out and everything jumps towards this queen the bowlers going on the outside isn't really a problem because the kill squad's just on the other side of the wall on the inside so one of those instances where your bowlers take a bit of a walk but it ends up working out for the best because then, then they continue around do some cleanup at the same time as you can see the jump spell sucking those golems right down towards that queen chamber queen's gonna lock onto those golems and get stuck there for a moment gotta hit that king and ability to knock that town hall down just so he can get access to this defensive queen that's just wreaking havoc on that golem there but finally the defensive queen goes down and you see he quickly reacts to some hogs here from the uh, seven o'clock section. I uh, really like the reaction on that one because that managed to save his bowlers. Now, the bowlers are gonna just walk around and clean up. Hogs are now standing under heel. They're gonna bust on through those tests. So there's really only this uh, sort of one to three section that is of any sort of threat now. Doesn't have any more heels, has no more hog, but he's got 
enough of them in the field already. I believe he's going to get through at least to this bomb tower and then still has the bowlers and heroes working through the base doing cleanup. A couple cleanup wizards as well. That is always important. Yeah, there go the hogs, unfortunately, but it doesn't matter. There's only two cannons in an air defense. Stuff just has to work through those walls. It's going to be GG. Down it goes. Whew, time might have been an issue. I didn't watch this one right to the end. That was a little shaky, shaky end. I saw these last couple of compartments and this huge pack of hogs. I'm like, oh, yeah, smoked it. Well, that was actually a lot closer than I thought. Hmm. <clears throat> so, moving on there. Nice one by Dally. I think Robbie had a six pack. Nice hit by Pitino there. What did I want to show? 22. That was the next one. Ryan. Like this one, Mass Baby Drag. So um, the idea behind this one is this is one of those sort of very newer concept style of bases where you have this very offset queen and clan castle or whatever. You really put a lot of air de uh, defending structures that are not air defenses um, on one side of the base, uh, sometimes with your queen, sometimes not. Uh, and then really sort of making a like a no fly sort of zone. I saw that it called that in, uh, I believe one of snip attacks videos um, on the other side of the base. Now, when you can just take a queen and <laughs> walk right into four air defenses like that while pulling out the clan castle, that's going to leave you in pretty good shape on the back end because he's still he's going to bring a hound in the clan castle and has a couple balloons like barely any and 11 baby dragons so once these air defense goes down once he gets through this king he's going to walk on up take out the clan castle take out these other couple air defense he's going to get a hound in doing some tanky for the baby drags i think actually very quickly he's going to start getting some baby drags just starting to do work on the outside there we go bam 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 couple going down a little sipski here. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a hound comes out of the clan castle. Um, I don't know if he was 100%. If maybe this was a fresh hit, I don't know. I should have checked. But um, I like the quick reaction and drop the baby D to help her out. Uh, and then you're going to see rage goes down as soon as it bursts. Just work through those pups very quickly with the help of that baby D. Queen's going to continue on and do her thing, right? This hound is in there doing tanking, right, on the Tesla, on, um, not unfortunately, not the Arch Tower, but uh, the hound's just going to kind of slowly work into this base while the baby Ds slowly work in from behind. There goes that one balloon now that there's really only defenses for it to target. But it can't make it there because that stupid sweeper, as soon as the queen works through the clan castle, she's going to step up and help that stuff as well. Still has two baby Ds and two cleanup wizards at this point. And you can see as the queen still has all four of her healers, uh, even the loon is in there helping out. Finally, that hound bursts, but it doesn't matter. He's got baby Ds all in his grill there. They're going to work through that stuff. Queen's helping out as well. Down goes the wizard tower. Start working on that expo. Still has a couple wizards for this sort of three o'clock section. And the queen's going to... End up taking care of the arch tower. has got far too many uh, oops, little bomb takes care of some of those pups. But it doesn't matter. Baby D is going to rage itself up there. Help out. Queen steps up. Balloon is still going. That balloon traveled from like all the way over here. <laughs> it's now going to go up and even help with some cleanup. <laughs> oh, it's like, what? Nope. Nope. I'll go to that one. Nope. I want to go to this one. No. <laughs> it's tree in the bag for Ryan. Nice job, buddy. Um, 19 Cass has just been on fire. This guy is unbelievable. So he's bringing this little walk with a cold blood of gold, two hounds and 12 balloons. It's actually sort of my favorite sort of air comp. Um, I don't know why I, maybe it's cause I've just been using like constant, um, healers and high amounts of healers at least bringing four healers for some sort of walk um i feel like all my entries are like that's just how i think is how do i take out this side of the base with my walk and then use that to my advantage just like Cass is doing here 
free funnel on this side at the nine o'clock gets the one golem in there pulls out that clan castle queen's doing work as well it's going to finish off that cc very very quickly get that air defense before it takes out all of her healers i think it does get one or two Maybe two healers there. Yeah, but no big deal because Golem's in there doing the rest of the tanking. Wall gets opened up. King's going to travel on in. One thing he does not – oh, never mind. Um, he's going to get two air defenses and I believe even step up and possibly get a third air defense in this entry. Uh, Bowler's kind of working in. Raid in behind that King. Good job with that. Raid spell is now down. Bowler's are going to get big value out of that. Going to smash through those Teslas. Jumps on over to that defensive Queen. Down she goes. And yeah, he's going to get a third air defense out of the deal here now. <laughs> so this, uh, um, sorry, I said two hounds, but it was actually bowlers in the CC. Um, but it doesn't need it because he only got one air defense left. 12 balloons are in all on these def uh, outer defenses now around the three o'clock section. Going to work towards this last remaining air defense. And down it goes. See you later. <clears throat> so there's only an expo here and an arch tower to go. And a little bit of cleanup. Absolutely crushed it, Cast. Just been on fire lately for us, my friend. I think he even gets his hound to pop. Perfect timing on that. No defenses even left that can target the pups. Beautiful. Blam, blam, blam. It's a tree in the bag for my man, Sir Cass. All right. Next on the block, what was that, 19? 17, I got marked. MBD. That's right. Uh, bringing another stoned uh, hobo. I thought this was sort of an interesting base. Very, very, very compact. So uh, guys are sort of recognizing sort of old school, um, I shouldn't say old school strats, but uh, recognizing uh, the, the strength of things like hogs when you can address where a bomb location is which is sort of what he's doing um you know with this air defense and whiz tower he's jumping right on into this defensive queen he's getting the clan castle yanked out and taken care of he's going to be bringing two heels and 19 hogs for the back end now that all that jazz is in the in the core here he's just going to let the golems work on in a little bit more and once they kind of get into this section uh they're doing a whole lot of tanking uh for these hogs where they start in at nine o'clock sort of a three finger drop on all those defenses out there they're going to work through those cannons very quickly down they go they're going to sort of continue to make their way uh counterclockwise now around this base heal spell is going to go down over that whiz tower perfect timing on that mbd is going to keep those things going through this very compact spring trapless compartments there is one bomb but it doesn't matter the heal is down perfect timing on everything there <clears throat> does lose his queen in the midst there, but no big deal. He's got more than enough hogs to take care of the rest of his base. A couple mortars and a or mortar and a Tesla to go. Still has bowlers in there doing cleanup. Cleanup troops all around the base. MBD just smashes it. Boom. Oop. All right. Tree in the bag. Uh, okay, well, let's get on to some 10 versus 10 action. Why not? Start off with my man, Alpha, going up against these level one Infernos. Uh, a few Town Hall defen uh, 10 defenses sprinkled in there, uh, but nothing too crazy. So, uh, you know, Alpha's really going to take advantage of this. Go ahead and send in this cold-blooded golem. Does not need two with all these Town Hall 9 defenses in there. Going to just create that funnel nice and easily with that baby D on the other side. Beautiful. In go the wall breakers. In goes that uh, uh, archer queen. And Raiden right behind is going to go his king. Handful of bowlers. We're going to walk in right towards this air defense and jump on over into the inferno tower and queen and king chamber there. Oh, comes the clan castle, which is a hound and um, a loon. Now, I'm finding, you know, I like the cold blooded decision. I find when you invest in that second golem and your queen gets held up forever on that lava hound. The, the golems end up getting killed and you sort of end up wasting um, that extra troop space. You know, I, I absolutely hate uh, when there's a hound and I'm trying to go shattered. So I'll, I'll always try and lure it out or more look towards something like a suicide hero when there's a hound. Because if you can just suicide hero in, 
take care of a queen and an air defense real quickly and then who cares about the clan castle you leave it alive then you can bring you know a quad quad lalo for the back end um but yeah that's uh it's all base specific obviously but i'm just saying i hate 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 hounds at the clan castle especially when i'm bringing golems for my entry as you can see, though, Alpha really just getting a good counterclockwise rotation on these balloons. A few in on each defense. Nice little rage and free spell placement. Everything's going to smash that and go right on over to the Inferno Tower. And Tesla's down it goes. Bam, bam, bam. Haste on over to the last remaining air defense. It goes down right as that hound bursts. Absolutely perfect. Down goes that Wizard Tower. That was the only major threat left. Only a couple point defenses to go now. Blues are going to catch the back end of this haste again, too. And go right on over to that expo. Gets a second haste down. Swag haste, I should say. Absolutely did not need that. Going to smash through the rest of this stuff. Has cleanup wizards on the other side of the base. Puffs everywhere. Boom. Absolutely killed it. Nice job, buddy. Tree in the bag, buddy. Bam. Uh, moving on up. What was it? Number 12. Yep, 12, 11, and 10 we got for you here. So this is uh, Z Bear, a.k.a. The Kid. I'm pretty sure I just made that up, but it's definitely his new a.k.a. He's going in like a champ here. Shattered entry. He's going to just smash and jump right on over into this Inferno Tower compartment. Um, sort of angle it. His goal is to get this second air defense out of the way on the entry. Sort of sort of kind of cutting up towards the two o'clock section there um you know basically if he can get this chunk of base he can lalo uh around and get that uh, clockwise rotation or counterclockwise rotation you need when you're uh, looking at your pathing for your troops so you can see everything's working out just splendidly here out comes that clan castle down goes that inferno tower which is the most important thing queen's in there doing work too on that clan castle it's about to go down baby d is dead this little witch taking a little bit of extra time there but no big deal queen's gonna step up and get that air defense that i was just talking about down it goes gonna get a tesla i believe a sweeper and a whiz tower in the process it's already got the balloons in hounds are floating in just gonna get two going see so just sort of wants to slowly get everything going in this clockwise rotation around the rest of this base kind of worked out perfectly there's no outer defenses really as long as he's taking care of some of uh, some of these uh, via a couple balloon drops he's going to get that action going right in there just misses that air defense with the freeze but no big deal he's got the rage spell down balloons get tossed right on top of the air defense down it goes boom nice little hay spell work on through that wizard tower there's nothing left to target these balloons only has a few left still has two cleanup balloons uh you know pat and z bear right there that guy taught me two balloons you have to save for the end of the raid because of this situation you're gonna see it's like super close on time i'm pretty sure for this one because he's got the cleanup there the cleanup there but he is gonna come away with this the kid coming away with a very big tree star for us bam job z Next on the block, the Iceman. Bring a little walk with the cold-blooded. I like this idea here. Um, this is sort of my, again, kind of going back to what I said about the town line attacks. Uh, I'm just so, I feel so much more comfortable bringing a queen with some healers. Uh, you know, I also feel if you can really manage to keep your healers alive, they allow your kill squad to get that extra push. You can get an Inferno Tower down very quickly with the healers still on your heroes or still with your bowlers. Um... You know, you do get really good value. You get that little extra push into the base. But uh, take it from guys like Ice who have been doing this forever. Absolutely going to walk into this base. Pull out that clan castle. Get an expo. Get all of this stuff out of the way. Basically wants to uh, now come in from 12 o'clock. Meet everything up uh, with a jump spell over into the queen chamber. Get a second air defense out of the way. Get this inferno tower out of the way. Get a bunch of uh, wizard towers out of the way. All things that are uh, Lalo killers. Just getting great value. There goes the jump. Nice job. He's going to continue to work on in. I think he's even going to get a raid spell down here in a moment. Maybe he's saving that for the balloons. Don't remember. But in comes the Lalo. Hit your king. Hit your king. Oh, just hits it in time. 
A few balloons is going to work on through this first Inferno Tower. Seeing the Queen getting the one on the other side there. And you see what I mean. Like that Inferno Tower goes down. The healers are still alive. Still working on that uh, Queen. She's going to end up jumping up and be able to take care of all these defenses on the outside without worrying about dying. Still has that ability intact too. Nice spell placements. Just kind of getting everything moving now from the 6 o'clock straight up to the 9 o'clock. Hound does go down, but nice hay spell. Going to throw those balloons right into that air defense before it can manage to take them down. A few minis on the outside now for cleanup. They're going to start working right away. Still has a couple archers. He's going to drop on these builder's huts on the corner. But as you can see, no defenses remain. It's only a matter of time now. Ice absolutely crushes it. Nice job, buddy. Bam. One of my favorite tricks, too. You always... The town hall being the, the last 1%, I don't know why I take joy when I see that happen for some reason. It's like you, it's like you meant for it to happen. Uh, all right, and last but certainly not least, my man Hood Rat. <clears throat> Bringing a shattered uh, shattered bull, uh, uh, bull Allo here. So he's going to go ahead and get that uh, golem down right in that troll Tesla very quickly with that wizard to help. Nice job with that. Golem's going to walk on into this 9 o'clock section. A couple very quick wizards down. He's got to get the funnel created very quickly. Second golem goes in. A few minis down even to help out. He's just got to get this side cleared out as soon as he possibly can. Like the minis there because of that cannon. He could not drop wizards over there. But minis are going to continue to work through the uh, – get rid of those buildings for him. Golems go into the base. Good job with that. Bowlers follow perfectly. He loses maybe one. No, it goes back in. That's right. Jump spell right on over into this uh, expo queen chamber. Out comes the clan castle. Instant poison goes down. Beautiful. Hits that ability. Just got to take down that defensive archer queen and down she goes. His queen's going to step up there, take care of some skellies and that second air defense. Yeah, second air defense. And I believe his bowlers even get a third here or maybe the golem that's I think the golem steps up, finishes it off, but he gets three air defenses out of that entry. Clan Castle, the queen is his queen is still going. Couple wizard towers. There's only one wizard tower remaining. Two, uh, one air defense remaining. Obviously, both the inferno towers are a bit of an issue, but no big deal. This queen's even going to step up here in a moment, help take care of this first inferno tower. Couple haste around the outside. Beautiful. Now he really just has to haste everything up to this last. Uh, last Inferno Tower in this 12 o'clock location. It's going to go ahead and get that free spell down here in one second. Down it goes. Nice job with that. Just missed the Arch Tower, but no big deal. Gets that Hound to Burst 2 via the Black Mine. Perfect timing on that. Get those extra cleanup pups. Just crushed it. Bam. Nice job, Hoodie. Very, very sexy. Man. I don't, my biggest problem with my 10 versus 10 game right now is sort of my Lalo or, or my balloon pathing. Um, I'm trying to judge taking out certain chunks to sort of form, you know, that cir circle or the, the direct line for your all your balloons to travel. So you can just kind of haste and, and rage or freeze and whatever through. Um, now, it doesn't always work out that way. And so that's what I'm working on right now. If you have any advice, 10 versus 10 out there, guys, it's focus on your balloon pathing. Um, and and you're, you're sort of – you're judging your balloon pathing based on what you think your kill squad's going to get. So, you, you, you know, you're going to generally sort of take some sort of like a triangle out of the base. And what that's going to do is leave sort of a ring around that triangle uh, for whatever hogs or balloons to travel. Um, so, and you can kind of actually map out exactly what buildings your uh, your stuff is going to go to. And it's it, it's not it's tricky. It's down all ten. I'm getting super frustrated, but I'm working hard at it. And uh, I see these guys having great success. Uh, you know, these guys are like Hoodie and Ice and Nuna forever. So, uh, hats off to my ten versus ten. Uh, Champions here, uh, they definitely uh, still will show this war. Nice, uh, nice score to put up. I mean, we really are striving for 86 or 87 stars in our CWL matches, so we're we're right on par this war. Hopefully, we can uh, step it up and start knocking out uh, an occasional 11 versus 11 triple. So I know uh, Dirty Italian's been really practicing a lot, and he's doing pretty good up there as well. But um, when we don't clear the tens, uh, don't allow that one or two chances for an 11. It's not much we can do about it. We may as well take the extra star on the ten. So. 
Anyhow, guys, going to call it a day. Hopefully, this all worked correctly and the sound is on par because, uh, yeah, we're moving forward. Uh, should have this podcast rolling in the next couple weeks. And, uh, yeah, that'll do it for your wisdom for Wiser. Just trying to help the bag that next tree start. Till then, I'm out.